Hey everybody, my name is Ty Wanek and I am a student here at Antioch Community High School and this is going to be my 28th ever weekly weather forecast, the third to last one for the school year. We're getting close to the end of the school year. So this is gonna be the third to last one and this forecast is going to be from May 7th, 2022 through May 13th, 2022. So let's dive right into the details. So what to watch for this week? We'll have cloudy skies that will occur this weekend with highs in the middle 60s. So about average to kind of below average, maybe five degrees below average, but right around, right around where we should be for this time of year for this weekend. Isolated thunderstorm chances will occur on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. We're gonna have multiple small storm systems that will come through the area. Maybe a better chance of severe weather, but it's really too far out to determine that yet. So I kind of just put isolated thunderstorms for the school week. Highs will remain above average during the school week with highs in the 80s to even the lower 90s. So I put the average high for May, 69 degrees. The temperatures are going to be 15 to 25 degrees above average. So it is definitely going to feel like summer finally this week. We've had this long stretch of cold through February, March, April, and we're now finally going to get the summer-like temperatures, 80s and 90s, with also a heat index of 90 to 95 is possible on Tuesday afternoon, which can make way for some uncomfortable conditions due to the excessive heat. This is the real-time weather radar taken on May 4th, 2022. As you can see, nothing on the radar yet, clear skies, no storm systems anywhere, but by the time you are seeing this video, there's probably going to be a storm system in our area, probably a lot of rain and thunderstorms all across the radar, and it's pretty much going to be isolated, although that could change. Uh, we have warmer temperatures, above average temperatures, we have heat, humidity, instability, so that could create some severe storm and some severe storm conditions, but for right now, we have clear skies on the radar, so not really too much to worry about, but pay close attention to the weather, especially during the school week, because although I put isolated thunderstorm chances, and I'll get to that in a minute, there still could be an opportunity for some severe weather. This is the U.S. surface analysis taken on May 4th, 2022. As you can see, we have some low pressure systems and some high pressure systems right now. And although we are in the H high pressure, this will change as more low pressure storm systems move through the area. I think there's gonna be a low pressure system moving in this weekend and in the school week. So a couple low pressure systems, not really too much right now on the US surface analysis map, but I bet that is going to change in the next five days, seven days, while I forecast and while I continue to keep you guys updated. So your two day weekend forecast, Saturday, partly cloudy, high of 64, low of 48, with a low impact, and for Sunday, cloudy skies, high of 66, low of 51, with a low impact. And we will get to the school week forecast. Monday, isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. This is when the thunderstorms are going to start. High of 80, low of 69, 30% rain chance with a low impact. Now Tuesday is gonna be the most impactful day. Isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. We'll have breezy conditions, so winds outside of thunderstorms gusting up to 25 miles an hour. And heat index values of 90 to 95 possible, maybe even 100 if we can get there. High of 88, low of 70, 30% rain, rain chance, and the medium impact for the isolated possibility of severe weather, the breezy conditions, and the heat index values of 95 to 100. Maybe even for actual temperatures. I put 88, but maybe there could be some spots down south of here that could get up into the lower or middle 90s. So stay prepared. Make sure, make sure you guys prepare for the heat. Drink plenty of water. Uh, make sure to stay in the shade, put the suntan on, and limit your exposure outdoors because of the heat. And a low of 70 degrees, so that'll feel nice. That'll be nice sleeping weather. You can open your windows, nice sleeping weather on Tuesday. Now Wednesday is the last day for the seniors. So the seniors here at Antioch Community High School, this will be your last day of school. So to all the seniors out there, Good luck to wherever you go next year. I'm proud of you guys, and hopefully you continue to have 
Uh, good luck in your education in the future. Uh, I'm very proud of you guys. Uh, I've met a lot of seniors here in the school. Uh, I give a shout out to the class of 2022. Um, good luck to all you guys in the future and hopefully you keep enjoying your life. Uh, hopefully you ha guys had a great four years of high school and I'm really proud of you guys. But Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy, high of 84, low of 67 with a low impact. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 83, low of 65 with a low impact. And Friday, another isolated thunderstorm chance. This time it will be in the evening. High of 80, low of 63, a 40% rain chance with a low impact. Now, although I did not mention severe weather, please watch out, especially on Monday and Tuesday, we could have potentially some big severe weather threats. I'll continue to keep you guys updated, but for right now, there is a lot of uncertainty. Uh, I've been looking at models, data, forecasts, and it really, I'm really starting to feel like that Monday or Tuesday, we could have at least a chance of severe weather. So make sure to watch out for that. And watch out for warmer temperatures, especially on Tuesday, and watch out for isolated thunderstorms on Friday. So that is going to be it for my 28th ever weekly weather forecast. I'm Tyler from Antioch Community High School. Seniors, good luck. Everyone else, stay safe, and I will see you guys next week.